I, I know this is a unique sermon, a little bit lofty. Some of you are like, that's so theoretical and out there in the clouds. I'm, give us Jesus, pastor. And I would say, that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm literally saying, Jesus is here. Spiritually. Physically, he's in heaven. Spiritually, he's here for you. His grace is here for you. His strength is here for you. Whatever you need Jesus to be for you is here for you. That's exactly what I'm trying to argue. We aren't just remembering good thoughts about the gospel. We're with Christ in some mysterious, I like that word mysterious in this context, in some mysterious way. You say, I just don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand fully what I'm saying either. Okay? I, I preach a lot of things I don't fully understand. I don't understand the Trinity fully. But I fully believe that's what the Bible reveals. I don't understand union with Christ, which is the most dominant doctrine in the New Testament. One of the most glorious, beautiful doctrines is that Jesus said, I am in you and you are in me and we're perfectly one. I don't understand that fully. It says it. I believe it. I don't get it fully. I'm putting something before us that I can't. There's mystery in it. I acknowledge that. It, it doesn't mean it's not true just because we can't fully get our mind around it. And I would say, if your view of the Lord's Supper you can fully understand, you probably haven't dealt with all the passages on the Lord's Supper. Because when you do, there becomes some mystery here. And I would argue it's biblical mystery. You know, the Bible, Paul used the word mystery and related it to the gospel many times. The mystery of the gospel, the mystery of Christ. He keeps saying that. In fact, he says it eight times in Ephesians. Mystery of Christ, mystery of the gospel. It's okay to have in our theology mystery. So the Bible creates that at times. And... We should seek to understand everything that's revealed, but we should acknowledge that these things go beyond us. Robert Bruce, in his uh, famous sermons on the Lord's Supper, says, The Word leads us to Christ by the ear, preaching. The sacraments lead us to Christ by the eye. But they're both leading to Christ, just in different ways. And I don't, I don't understand how that works. Not fully. I, I just don't. Like today, I spent time in, in the Word, reading the Scriptures on my knees in prayer. What would, if you said, what, what do you call that? I would say, I'm spending time with the Lord. How? He's in heaven. I'm in my office just sitting there. How am I spending time with the Lord? Because by faith, we believe that we truly are communing with Christ as we receive His Word by faith, as we pray to the Son of God. There's mystery though. There's true mystery 